Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ms. Roxanne. This is Daily Brambles. Today we're doing The Flash again. And we're doing Season 1, Episode 14, Fallout. So we start off where, um, right where we picked up on the last episode, there was no radiation, so the splicer worked. So the army investigates, and Barry rescues them and puts them back at Starlast, and Ronnie and Stein feud. They're finally glad they're separated from each other because Ronnie was really annoyed and vice versa. So Stein is back home with Carissa. So that's a very super happy moment right there. And then um, Joe goes over what he found with Barry um, as far as the case with um, Barry's old house and stuff. And now time travel is on the table. And it can screw everything up if you change one little thing in the past. So um, then we cut to Iris West and a co-worker talk. Um, he's a nosy-ass reporter, like super nosy. And he thinks um, the particle celery was on purpose and that um, Wells is being shady. And then we cut to where Stein loves pizza now because um, Ronnie kind of loves pizza. And then Stein knows a lot about time travel. Because Barry goes to talk goes to talk to him about time travel. So Ronnie and Caitlin talk, and Ronnie um, gets almost captured while they're at Jitters, but they escape, and then the Flash gets shrapneled hard. Basically, what that means is he got he got shot at with like a ton of tiny little needles and stuff. And then we find out that um, Stein and Ronnie's body are linked. And then we have where Ronnie and Kaylin stay at Barry's house. They do a funny little cover up and saying that um, when Iris comes over and says that Ronnie is um, Kaylin's cousin. <laughs> it's like, oh God. And then um, we have that. And then Wells confronts Eileen, who is the general of the army. And then um, Barry and Joe have another little heart to heart moment, and that's kind of a touching little moment. Then Wells talks to Stein, and um, Wells drugs him and gives him over to Eileen because Eileen wants the flash. And he's like, No, you can have Firestorm instead. Bye. So um, the army gets him, and then Iris' uh, co worker gets nosy, and then convinces her to get nosy too because they don't know a lot about Wells, period, anyway. So they're trying to figure out more about him. And then, basically, Stein gets inter interrogated by Eiling and, um, and when that's finished, Ronnie communicates by cutting himself. So that way, because, um, since their brains are, since they're kind of linked together, Basically, when he's, like, cutting into his hand, his arm or whatever, it's showing up on, um, his, on his arm, Stan's arm. Couldn't say that right, I don't know why. <laughs> so, that's kind of a neat little trick. Super violent trick, but okay. So, then, uh, once they find out what's happening, Stan communicates by Morse code, and then Ronnie and Barry go to help. And Barry rescues him, but he gets hit by a bag, by um, a bay of rockets. And basically, it's like a, it's a super weird um, coating on that gets on the suit, and he has to take off the suit. And then um, Firestorm forms again, but they're actually doing it right, and they're doing damage. And then Barry knocks out Eileen. Then Firestorm can separate. Then Ronnie and Stan decide to leave because they want to learn more about their abilities and to train and stuff. So they leave and Cisco and Caitlin talk. And then Barry says he is going to save Iris's, go save his mother. And since um, since Stan talks was on trouble, he also had a child back in time to fight the reverse flash. So he says he's going to save his mom. And then the reverse flash gets Eileen and gives him. Um, to Grodd, and that's where we leave the episode. Super good episode. I really liked it and how they're starting to bond and stuff, but it's kind of a shame that uh, Firestorm had to leave, and when they just kind of got introduced and just starting to get to work out their stuff, 
because you really don't have a bad story of where they were in um, when they go off. Because I've, I've already seen the entire series when they come back, they just kind of vaguely explain stuff, but don't really go into details, which I would have appreciated and stuff. But um, but anyway, I really do like how the episode is going. So I'm gonna like um, a B plus just because. Um, well, I'll give it an A. Just a couple little things that kind of annoy me a little bit, but other than that, great episode. And that's going to do it for me. So if you like this episode, please go to like, comment down below, and then subscribe for more stuff. And I'll see y'all later. Have an awesome day, everybody. Have an awesome day, everybody. Bye.